Good morning, grade four. I hope you guys are doing great job at your places. Well, guys, uh, starting my day with you all is like you know blessing for me, and it seems like I'm getting addicted of all that stuff. Well, guys, uh, cultivation to the mind is as important, you know, as food to the body. So today we are going to start our lecture number seven, and the topic name is economic choices. Guys, uh, this one is going to be your third lecture of the same topic because previously we have talked about, you know, in two lectures about uh, economic choices. So, guys, fasten your seat belts. Today we are going to talk about tax money. Well, great four. Before we start our today's lecture about economic choices, let's talk about moral improvement, and I think this is really very important thing to talk about it. Well, guys, uh, as I have stated this thing several times, that I have started the chain lecture series to bring change your behaviors, to bring change in our society. Well, proceeding it, uh, let's talk about it. Well, guys, uh, you know what? When we rise by lifting others up, our hearts grow and find happiness. When we grab their hands and hoist them up, guys, uh, in our natural state, you know what? Uh, we are made to be compassionate and kind. And the greatest gift to our community would be when we contribute to making lives better. Guys, what you can do uh, in this month of Ramadan, you know what? Only few days are left of this blessed month. So, guys, uh, you have to pray for others. You know, most important, well, importantly, uh, during these few days, what you can do? Take a time to pray for others, guys. Pray for your family, your loved ones, those who are ill, those who are live in fear, those who are hungry. Guys, those who walk in darkness, you have to pray for them, and I don't think so. This is difficult job, and you all can do it, right? Also, pray for your teachers. In fact, you can pray for anyone you know whom you don't know. This is not important that you can only pray for those people who are near to you. You can pray for everyone who is even not in your acknowledgement. Guys, this is the greatest gift to our community. You know, this is greatest gift from your side to your loved ones, your family members, and for for everyone. Just just imagine that you are doing this great deed, and you're giving. You know, as a gift, your prayers are gift for us. You know, you must remember me and my family in your prayers. Well, guys, uh, at the end of this short moral improvement session, I would like to say that uh, may Allah guide all of us upon the right path of faith and uh, help us to be filled with pity, patience, humanity, and kindness. Thank you so much. I will see you in your next session. Till then, take care of yourself. Well, well, great four. Uh, after listening the moral improvement session, let's talk about your lecture number seven. But don't you feel that before we start our today's lecture, it is very important to take a quick recap of lecture number five and six? Well, here we go. Well, guys, uh, I have a suggestion for you that whenever you start your new lecture, must take a click and must check it out the previous lecture, because guys, uh, all these lectures are linked up with each other, and the knowledge is also linked up, and this is going to be very handful trick for you. Whenever you will listen the previous lecture, it is going to be helpful for you to learn about your new lecture. Well, guys, uh, in our previous lecture number five and six, we have talked about economic choices, about goods and services, about opportunity cost, and import and export. I have told you that uh, in every day of life, you have to make choice between what to what you want to buy and what you not want to buy. Guys, uh, when you go to the market with some fixed amount of money, you wish to buy so many things, isn't it? Yes, you, I guess your answer is yes. Guys, uh, but you are unable to do that. You are unable to satisfy all your desires and needs because of that particular amount. You know, because your amount is limited and your needs and wishes are not limited at all. You want to buy, you know, the toy car. You want to buy, you know, um, PS4. You want to buy PlayStation, but you you do not have enough amount. You know, we all are tackling and handling such kind of stuff in our daily lives. Well, guys, uh, I have told you that economics is a social science that tells us how individual, a government, firm, or a nation make choices between what they want to buy and what they don't want to buy. Guys, I have told you that opportunity cost uh, is a benefit, profit, or a value of something that must be given up to achieve something else in return, right? So this is called opportunity cost. 
Guys, I have told you that economics is concerned with the production of and distribution of goods and services. I have told you that uh, goods are, you can say that everything which you can touch, feel, this is called good, you know, which have certain value, which you can touch, which you can exchange, which you can return, right? This is called goods. And service is an act, you can say, or action which someone does for, for other person in return of any, any valuable thing, in return of any money. So, in short, you can say that service is an act of, you can say, it is a work, okay? It is a work for which someone do for other person. Well, great for uh, in our previous lecture, we guys have talked about, you know, import and exports of Pakistan, about the importance of imports and exports. I guess I have told you that uh, an import is a good or service brought into one country from another. And the word import is derived from the word port. And port means, you know, everything which you which you get and uh, through ships and you through water means. Well, guys, uh, exports are the goods and services produced in one country and purchased by the citizen of another country. Guys, uh, in our previous lecture, we have also discussed about the importance of imports and about, you know, some great exports of Pakistan. I have told you that it is very important to, to do export more than import. Because guys, uh, if you guys will only do import and we do not do export, it means that we are only getting things from other countries and we are not selling our products to other countries. It means that we are not getting the foreign money. You know, foreign money is very important for the stable economy of the country. Guys, uh, balance trade is something which you call that uh, something great. Because whenever you will do the balance trade, uh, it will going to be, you know, in the favor of country's economy. Guys, uh, in, uh, import and export is an international trade. And when we guys do import and export in a balanced manner, this is going to be the boost in our economy, you know. It's mean that uh, we have to, you know, if we buy something from some country, so it's mean that we have to sell our products as well, you know. So it's mean that uh, because only the foreign money can come in your country when you do export more than import, you know. Import are taking money from you and export is giving you that money. Guys, uh, there are two types of imports, industrial and consumer goods, intermediate and, you know, uh, goods and services. Well, guys, uh, in our previous lecture, we have also discussed about the type of exports. We have also discussed about, you know, some great imports of Pakistan, such as, you know, the great imports of Pakistan are machinery, petroleum, chemical, vehicle, spare parts, edible oil, uh, wheat, uh, you know, tea, fertilizer, and, you know, so on. Well, guys, uh, in our previous lecture, we have also discussed about, uh, you know, a few, a bit more detail about the exports of Pakistan. I have told you that uh, these are the countries, uh, you know, the, sorry, these are the stuff, you know, list of the stuff which we give to other countries. Export mean when we are selling our product to other countries. This is called export. Well, guys, uh, the list of the things which you can see in front of you on your slide, these are the things which we do export, you know, which we sell, which we sell or you can say which, which we send to other countries and we get the foreign money in exchange. Well, guys, uh, we have also discussed in our previous lecture about public property. Well, guys, uh, public means all those people which are, you know, which come under the control of the government. So public property is a property under the control of the government and government can buy and sell that property without asking to anyone. And guys, let me know one thing that uh, have you ever seen any public property uh, surrounded in your area? Uh, definitely you have seen so many times, uh, I mean, I'm talking about the public park, public hospital, post offices and such as. Guys, uh, public property is all those, you know, people come under the control of the government. So public property is a property under the control of the government. Example, government schools, road parks and hospitals. In our previous lecture, we have also discussed about, you know, a few public properties about the importance of public property is mean guys uh, you have seen the video as well about it well guys uh, after discussing the recap of previous lecture let's talk about the lecture number seven and today we are going to talk about taxes so here we go well grade four after discussing the recap of lecture number five and six let's talk about your lecture number seven 
well guys uh in our lecture number seven we guys are going to discuss about you know what is tax about the types of taxes about uh, why government take taxes from you and why it is important to give taxes to the government and guys it's mean that we are going to talk about you know money so here we go well guys first of all it is very important to know about what is tax well, grade 4, uh, the government is responsible to provide better goods and services to its people. And it's not possible without money. So, government collect money through taxes. And the specific gesture of collecting money from the people is called taxation, is called tax money. Guys, uh, tax means the deduction of the money uh, by the government from the income of the people and business organization at a specific rate. Well, guys, uh, in our next slide, we are going to talk about types of taxes. Well, guys, uh, the government provides goods and services to its people, but they do not have their own wealth to provide these facilities. Government collects taxes. And, uh, you know, if the taxes are not enough to complete the needs, the government gets, you know, different kind of loans from other, other countries. So, guys, uh, there are different type of taxes in our country and in the world. So, we are going to talk about them briefly. These are, you know, property tax, about sale tax, about income tax, excise duty, import and export tax, and surcharge tax. Uh, I want to explain a bit more about the types of taxes. Guys, uh, as we have discussed below that, uh, you know, there are different types of taxes, such as income tax, property tax, about import and export tax. But let's talk about a bit detail about these taxes. Guys, uh, tax that are based on how much money a company earns are called corporate taxes. Taxes that are based on how much money a person earns are called income taxes. Guys, uh, these are very important points and you have to keep them in your mind. So, it's better for you to hold loose sheet in your hands and write down about the types of these taxes and uh, write down the details about the types of these taxes. Well, guys, uh, taxes that are based on how much a person buys are called sale taxes. And uh, you are giving sale tax even on a snack which you eat, you know, even on a lace, juice, or on a biscuit. You, uh, whenever you're going to buy next time such kind of stuff, must check it out at the packet. Uh, this must be mentioned over there, ST tax. ST tax means sale tax. Guys, uh, taxes that are based on how much a person owns are called property taxes. And things like houses uh, have a property tax on them, right? So, in our next topic, we are going to discuss about what are the different purposes of taxation. So, here we go. Well, great for uh, after discussing the types of taxes, uh, this is the time to talk about why it is important to give tax and what is tax. Well, grade 4, uh, the question is, what is tax? So, you can say that uh, tax is a money that people have to pay to the government and the government uses the money it gets from the taxes to pay for things. For example, taxes are used to pay for the people who work for the government. And as In a previous lecture, I have told you about the public servants. So, so government, which, uh, you know, uh, the government take taxes from you and it gives, you know, all these taxes money to the people who are paying public services. Such as military and police provide services uh, such as education and health. Guys, uh, to maintain the build, uh, you know, build things like roads, uh, bridges and, you know, uh, different kind of uh, public buildings, government use these taxes, which we ha which we pay to the government. So, government use these taxes in return to, to give us, you know, uh, all the facilities because it's not possible for one person to build a park, right? So, can you, uh, can you build a park for yourself as well? It's not possible, definitely not possible. So, it's mean that uh, the tax which we give to the government, so government collects that tax from us and it uses that tax on us you know uh, it gives us different facilities for example ambulance service fire brigade service and different public you know duties so in our further video which i'm going to add in your in your lecture it will give us a bit more clear view about the taxes and about uh, you know importance of the taxes and where does government use these taxes of us 
discussing the types of taxes and the importance of taxes we are going to talk about different purposes of taxation guys uh all the people who are working you know for the public well i'm talking about cbg people and the sweepers who are cleaning the parks and the people who are working in the government banks in the government schools in the government hospitals guys uh, they work for the public you know all these government hospitals government parks government post offices they are free for you right the services which are free for you but the people who are working uh, to give us all these services definitely they need salaries right the people who are working in hospital who are working in ambulance or working as a firefighters they are working for the government you know and the government gives them money how government gives them because government is taking taxes from you and government is paying these taxes to the people who are working for the public right public mean for all of us so it is important for all of us to give taxes because these taxes government uses these taxes on us you know to provide these great services because you cannot clean the great big parks by yourself right you cannot clean the drains by yourself yeah and guys you cannot maintain all uh, you know um, uh, government hospitals by yourself so definitely we need people and the people who are working for the government they are called government uh, uh, servants and the places which are uh, which are free for the people they are called public places and we have to pay for everything which government is providing. providing us government is also using our money for for constructing a big buildings and for also constructing the better roads for you right to provide you some better you know opportunities of getting gas and electricity so it's mean that every penny which we give to the government government is using on us for our well being right for all maintenance government is also opening you know libraries for all of us so it's mean that every penny which we give to the government government is using on us in return right so guys uh, being as a good citizen it is very important for all of us to give taxes and guys uh, taxes applied on the goods and import and exports are the big source of government's income right these are called you can say excise duty and surcharge tax guys uh, it is important for everyone to give taxes because these taxes government uses on our well being right so guys uh, i am going to show you a video clip which will clear a bit more about taxation process about the importance and where government uses these taxes so guys uh, let's watch it together i will make my shoes in the european union but i read that if i start a business i have a lot of responsibilities like paying tax i must find out more about tax come with me let's investigate says anything about this Who built these roads? Look, someone even fills in the potholes. Who pays for that? Who pays so that these people keep them safe? They get to learn for free. How come? to take care of them they get hurt or if something bad happens how is this possible that's where the money comes from taxes everybody contributes so that everybody can benefit just like those amazing kids did
means uh, in the next part of the video you can see that uh, this Mr. Egg wants to buy a property in the country but he is not ready to pay tax. It means that uh, everything you know from the country which is giving you a benefit you have to pay you know tax for it. If you're running your business over there you're getting your customers from the country so why not giving tax to the peer to the government so you can see in this video clip a random Fair. are there exceptions from this rule yes there are situations where we don't pay taxes hmm. am i one of these exceptions if you have your own income or own a house or buy and sell things you will pay tax that's clear and how much do i need to pay according to your ability to pay huh that's a relief well, can I give some of the shoes I designed in order to pay my taxes? Unfortunately, no, you can't. Taxes are only paid in money. Yeah, thought so. But do I really have to pay tax? The question you need to ask yourself is this one. Do you enjoy well-equipped hospitals to feel secure, good roads, modern schools? Oh yeah, I really appreciate that. You see, neither of these would exist without everyone's contribution, including yours. Got it. More resources collected from taxes mean better public services. So, let's get this straight. I am one of you now, so I have to pay taxes like anyone else. Yep, that's the law. Taxes are my contribution to the public services I enjoy. I can use public services freely, but they don't come for free. We all pay for them, even kids, because we need them in order to have a better life. I will need money to pay them. Hmm, that may be a problem, but I will pay according to what I earn. That's good, since rocket shoes are not the easiest things to sell around here. You know what? Taxes seem such a complicated subject. Couldn't understand what they are and why you pay them. I had no idea how they work and why they are important. But the kids helped me figure it out. Because they decided to contribute and build what they needed. Rather than sit back and not get involved, they chose to stick together and support each other. And everybody got something out of it. Love this planet, taxes and all. Well, grade 4, uh, have you seen the video which I added in the clip and that video is telling us that where government uses our money and why it is important to give money. It means that every facility, everything which is helping us to make money in the country, so it means that we are liable to pay taxes as well. Right, guys? Uh, for example, that you're also paying taxes on, uh, you know, everything which you buy from the market, even on a pencil, even on a snack, juice packet, everything, you know. Why? Because, guys, uh, if we will not pay taxes to the government, how government will provide us the services which are important to live a better life? For example, a better equipped hospitals, a better schools, a better parks. So, guys, it's very important for all of us to pay taxes in return to get a better services. So, this is the time to talk about exam bank. What you have to prepare from this topic for your exam, you have to prepare about what is tax, how many type of taxes are over there. Just go in a bit detail because in the video I have told you details that there are two type of taxes, direct taxes and indirect taxes. Direct taxes are those taxes which we, uh, you know, whenever we buy anything we pay on them. These are called direct taxes. And indirect taxes are those taxes which we pay indirectly for the services which we are getting free from. From the government basically they are not free we are giving money for them for example public parks public roads footpaths public lights even though for everything which you can see in your environment you know artificial stuff which you can see in your environment it's mean you have paid for it right your parents have paid for it even though uh, you know when you are on the canteen of your school you are paying taxes when you're sitting in the classroom you are paying taxes 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 so taxes are important guys uh, you you know it is a bit hard for you when you pay money from your you know income and salary and you're giving you know 10 to 20 percent to the government but when you enjoy these services so you have to pay services you have to pay taxes 
Okay, guys, uh, third question which you have to prepare for your exam bank that is why it is important to give tax money. So, guys, all these answers you can figure out inside our today's video lecture number seven. So, guys, uh, take care of yourself and never forget Nikki Ek Ibadat. I'll see you in your next lecture number eight. Till then, take care. Bye bye. See you.